Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Abby, and today I'm going to be showing you the plants that I picked up from Dean's Garden Centre in York last weekend. And before we get into the video, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and let's just go straight into it. I'm going to start with the smallest plant first, um, and the cheapest, and we'll go, we'll go that way. Um, so we'll start with cheapest to most expensive. Um, so the first plant I bought, so the first plant I bought was this Hoya. Um, as you can see, it was in the sale. So this was originally 10.99 and I paid £5.50 for this. Um, I'll put the name on the screen because I can't pronounce that, but that's the name of this particular Hoya. Um, I don't know if anyone remembers, but I've got a, a two or three leaf cutting of this. Um, and I really like it. And I think I paid six pounds for that two or three leaf cutting. So it just goes to show how good of a deal this is. Um, but it wasn't a sale because it has got some damage. Um, I mean, I don't know what kind of damage it is. There's odd leaves that are damaged, um, but everything's had a, a treatment of Provonto. Um, and then I saw what looked like a spider mite to be on this. So I've treated it again. I've checked all the others. They're all absolutely fine. Um, but I know Dean's Garden Centre do preventative measures as well. So whether it was a spider mite or a normal spider, I don't know. But um, it seems to be absolutely fine now. And the damage is more, I think it's more cosmetic, like leaves being bent and then crushed and that kind of thing rather than um, any kind of insect. But yeah, I'm really happy with this. I was so over the moon to find this. I need to find it a pot so it doesn't have that like ghastly blue sticker. Um, but I think it's so beautiful and it's a really good size as well. So that's the first plant I bought. So the second plant is actually one of the two plants that I saw um, on their Instagram stories, which made me say, we need to go to this place tomorrow because I've been putting it off for a long time and it's quite far from me. Um, so it's actually this, it's a um, global green pothos. So that's when the green variegation is green on green, as you can see. Um, I think it's so, so, so beautiful. I've always wanted one of these. I actually um, see these in America, like quite a lot in American collections. Never seen them in the UK. Um, and when they advertised it on their um, stories, I kind of felt that other suppliers and retailers in the UK will have them as well. And I have since seen that they've come to other people. But Dean's Garden Centre had the cheapest. So this was 6 99 I've seen Cowles upload them today for 7 99 so not much more. Um, but I think this price is really good, um, especially for like a less common pothos. Um, and I love pothos, they're really easy to look after. Um, they grow really quickly. So yeah, I'm really pleased with this. I picked up two, one for me and one for a friend. Um, and yeah, it's just a really, really beautiful, simple, less common plant. So this next plant is one that's been on my wish list um, for quite some time. I'd say a minimum 18 months, maybe two years. And every time I go to buy it from Cowles, where I've only ever seen it sell online, it's always been out of stock. So when I saw this in person, if you've seen the video, you'll know that I was so excited. Like I was really keen for this one. Um, so it's this Scandapsis uh, Tribrii Moonlight. Um, honestly, the, the pictures that you see on the internet and on Instagram are amazing. But in person, it's so much nicer. Um, I have cleaned it down. It's got this like white um, kind of film to it. All of them do, to be honest. And I have cleaned it down. Um, but I always find that that takes a while to, you know, go away. And I have just seen, oh no, I have just seen my first mealybug, which is crazy. I've never had mealybugs before. And this definitely is a mealybug. I'll see if I can show you. Let me see if I can show you. So just where my hand is here, can you see that little thing? Let's see if I can zoom you in. No, I can't do that. I'll take a picture and I put it on the screen. Oh no, I'm absolutely gutted. Um, yeah. God. So anyway, this was 18.99, it's 19 pounds. 
Um, I thought it was a really good price, but for a, for mealybugs on the plant, it's not the best price. But to be honest, a little story. Um, I when I found what I thought was spider mites on the the Hoya, the five pound one, I contacted them and just said, just to let you know, I found this in the fifty percent off section, and there was loads of plants there, really expensive and some really cheap. Um, just wanted to let you know, just so you could maybe do another preventative measure or treatment at this point. And um, they were so nice about it. They were like, we're so sorry. Like we do treatments like all the time, X, Y, and Z. And I do know that they, you can tell they really care for the plants because the staff were on it. They were attending to the plants and you just can't help this. But um, I probably will contact them just to let them know that it's official, that they, there is another kind of like infestation. It wasn't spider mites. Well, it probably was, it could have been, but in addition to that, I've just found a mealybug, which is sad. But um, moving on to the next plant, um, this was one that I was so, so happy with. Um, I bought a five leaf plant off Instagram for £25, um, which is a really good price for that plant. Otherwise, I've never bought it, as you guys will know. But I found this this whole plant for 25 pounds so this is a stunning hoya macrophylla um it's when the variegations on the outside so it's green on the inside and the variegations on the outside this has like eight or nine growth points like again if you saw that video you would have seen me counting the growth points because there was two plants to choose from um this is the the, I've got the pot of gold and I had a normal macrophylla, a small, much smaller version, probably like the, this amount, like literally this strand. Um, so I had to get this. Um, so I do have, um, or did have duplicates, but I have moved on that smaller one. Um, so yeah, I actually have one now, which was always the plan because I didn't, I didn't want to, and I hate having duplicates of things unless it's like a, a super special plant to me for like personal reasons which I don't really have any but <laughs> um but yeah so this I'm just so so pleased with I absolutely love it um and yeah I just think it's in really good condition and I'm really pleased with this one so this next plant is the second plant that actually took me to um Dean's Garden Centre um I was a bit like blown away by the price i was just like is that a typo and maybe there's a reason for it but they had just got these in so it is a case of um getting the goods in i assume treating them and then them going out quickly whereas um some other retailers kind of quarantine them for a long period of time um i know grow tropicals particularly quarantine their plants for like two weeks and then let them go but I don't know if these guys, when they say shipment come in, I don't know whether that's because they've quarantined them and then now they're opening them to their greenhouse at which that new shipment has just come in for the general public to buy. But anyway, I'm not sure of the process. Um, but this is the other plant I got, finally got a really, really beautiful philodendron melanochrysum. There are one, two three growth points in this um there is damage it damaged like um i assume because it's like a new growth point you see there it's like damaged there um this new leaf was completely curled up when i bought it but it had damage on it as well but it looks like it's just in that little corner um so that's obviously a new growth point and then there's a growth point here that hasn't like kind of shown me anything yet um so yeah, I absolutely love this. The the leaves are so big. Um, this was thirty nine ninety nine, which I think is an absolute steal. Like, I think that's amazing. Like, I, am am I wrong? Like, is I don't know. I feel like it's amazing. And they had obviously a larger shipment. I'm checking for bugs now. Can you tell? Um, I I saw that they had a shipment obviously come in. And they uploaded that information, I think it was the Friday night. And then I contacted them saying, 
as a joke, is it possible to reserve one? Do you do res reservations? And he was like, yeah, yeah, we can. So he reserved this for me. Um, and the uh, golden, yeah, the uh, global greens they reserved because they're the ones that I only saw. Um, and when I went in, there was only two left because it looked like loads of people saw this and loads of people were going in to buy this particular plant. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's just beautiful. Um, again, I probably, I've, I've treated them all once with Provanto. I treated the Hoya twice because I saw a little bug on it. Again, can't be sure if it's a spider mite officially because I, I normally stop and inspect, but I saw it crawling and I was like, right, get it in the bathtub, treat it again. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty certain it was, but um, I might do another treatment again, just to be sure, but all of these are away from all other plants. They are in the middle of my living room, surrounded by plants on the outside, but I literally have no other choice. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this. I love the size of it. I love the velvety leaves. And I just think all in all, it's like in really good condition. And I'm really, really pleased with this. So the next final plant is the most I've ever spent on a plant in my entire life. I think what came over me, but my encouraging husband was like, just get it, just get it. And I was like, I don't spend money easily, especially that kind of money. So we went for a coffee. I was thinking about it. I was checking the internet to see whether I was overpaying. Um, someone then sent me like three days after I had bought it, a link to, I think a smaller one from House of Kojo for half the price. So I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm nevertheless, I'm really happy with my purchase. It's a massive plant. It's in okay condition. Obviously the reason why I would justify buying this plant is because it was 50% off. Um, and I, I'm pleased with the plant I've got, so it, it's okay, I'm justifying it here. Um, but as I say, I sell plants, like anything that I'm bored of, or have duplicates of, or propagate, like I will sell, and then the money I get for that, I put in like its own pot. Any YouTube money that I may get, I put in this pot. So I've got like a Abbey Bloom pot, which I then, if I want a plant, I take out of that. So it's always been like a really good level, but now it's zero, it's actually at zero. Um, oh no, it's not, it's at 20, 22 pounds or whatever that um, other macrophylla um, sold for. So that went back into the pot. So I'm not at zero, zero. So I'm gonna show you it now. It's the Philodendron, Philodendron, sorry, Mamai, Mamai, Mamai. Um, it is a massive plant you know and i'll tell you what i paid for it but again it came from my abbey bloom savings so it was 225 and i paid 110 which at the time and even now I'm, I'm okay with it like i think it was reduced because it had some yellowing here and here but i think that's the only reason because i can't see anything else um, but having seen that mealy bug, which was in a different section because it was like a full price section, um, I will be checking them out all over again. But I can't even get it on the screen. It's so big. It's like, honestly, it's so beautiful. Like, look at those leaves. I will obviously put the link down. Um, I think it's just, I feel like I'm comparing two different plants here, but I'll put the House of Kojo link down that that girl sent me. Um, so you guys can go check that out. But I do think it was a little, I think it was smaller. Um, and this to me is gigantic. It's got one growth point, which is obviously growing sideways. Um, and yeah, it's kind of pushing out a new leaf. So that was at that stage. And then it's so top heavy, it fell. <laughs> and then that bit came off. But it's in two days it's grown back to that stage so i'm not too mad about that at the time i was a bit like oh my goodness but yeah i'm really paranoid now hopefully it's just a one-off and i can treat that i don't even i've never treated mealybugs because i've never had mealybugs before and um, i believe it's alcohol and um a cotton um 
cotton bud, you know, just actually scrape them off. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really pleased. I love this. It's literally the most expensive plant I've ever had and the most uncommon, I would say. Um, but yeah, I really, I'm so pleased with this and I just stressing about transporting it to the house now, but I'm sure it will be fine. I've kept all the packaging that they kindly packaged all these plants up in. I kept all the packaging, like all the plastic packaging and stuff, um, which... I suppose it's helpful, it kind of keeps the, the cold and draft out because in the UK here, I think tonight it's like minus one, so it is like winter and these are obviously all tropical plants and they don't appreciate the cold. Um, so I'll be reusing that um, when we transport them over, but that was definitely one that kind of stayed on my lap when we were traveling back. And the um, philodendron um, melanocrysum was like by my feet, so it was like a very like awkward journey home, but I just didn't want to risk putting them in our trunk and our pickup or in the, the back of the cab because that one is really, it's, I need to put some rocks above the soil because it's growing out and it's like, it keeps toppling over, which obviously you don't want. <laughs> so the last thing I want to talk to you about is, um, I was kindly sent some um, new fertilizer to try out from, um, I think you pronounce them Pangaea or Pangaea Home, but I'll put the name on the screen. Um, and this is like a jungle feed um, fertilizer. So this is a really cute packaging. So jungle feed, everything is in French on there because obviously he said it was a French brand, um, but they do send all the instructions in English, which is super helpful. Um, but I'm really, really, really excited to use this. Um, so I haven't used, so they sent me two, I haven't used anything other than Baby Bio for the last two years. Before that, I wasn't fertilizing my plants. Um, I've been collecting plants for, I don't know, maybe eight years or something. And I only started fertilizing about two years ago. No, maybe two and a half years ago, like maybe a bit longer. Um, and I've always wanted to try out other fertilizers, but I've never really gone for it, you know? So really pleased that I was sent these. I'm gonna try them out. Um, I'm kind of like keen to see how they, they look, um, but I will be doing like updates on like when I start using these to, I'm gonna start um, in spring, you know, like when you would normally start fertilizing your plants again when they start growing. So I want to do it correctly. So I'm gonna start using them in spring and then like throughout the spring, I'll keep you updated. And then I will obviously let everyone know how I feel about them. But um, just first like impressions, the packaging is so lovely. I love these little like beetles at the end as well. Um, but yeah, I really like this. It was like, um, thank you for trying out our jungle feed. Unless you can read French, then please see the English instructions in the envelope. I just thought that was really funny. Um, so yeah, it tells you at the beginning of each season, spread the necessary quantity onto the soil and scratch it in. Um, so it's less of a baby bio situation where you add it to your water. Um, and I'm really, really, really keen. It's slow activating, I believe, and it's natural. Um, and I just think it's really nice. Like I'm just to try something else that's <laughs> not that baby bio is not specifically made for plants because it obviously is, but something that's a bit more um it's got a bit more substance behind it you know and the fact that it's like completely natural and organic so really really pleased with this so i'm going to try that out and thank you very much to them for sending these over i'm super keen to try them um they do sound like smarties and they make me hungry every time i kind of pick them up and shake them and my pigs think they're going to get food as well now <laughs> um but i really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next one